Hey everyone, how the fuck you going today? This is a short one because I ran out of time because I've been doing all sorts this morning, but I've been working on a new project, an idea uh, that I had a couple of weeks ago actually. I was laying in bed early in the morning about 4 a.m., couldn't sleep, hang on, need a drink. I a sore throat from huffing fumes or from drinking chemicals. Um, laying in bed and was just mulling over ideas in my head and I kind of went back to this uh, blog or article I read ages ago about using AT Tiny as a kind of weight controller or a power management device for a bigger SBC or SOC or uh, MCU. And this guy had it running off AA batteries. I thought that is a brilliant idea. So I kind of mulled on that for a while and then I reached out to PCBWay. Thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. More on them in a minute. Uh, and I just said, hey, I got this idea. This is what I want to call it. This is what I want it to do. What do you think? Do you want to do a video together? And they said, yes. So that's, thank you to Zoe, my account manager. Check her out on Instagram as well. If you want to see the stuff that PCBWay get up to, she goes to you know the uh, conferences, exhibits and all that sort of stuff and put some cool stuff up and follows lots of other creators too if you want to find people doing this sort of stuff. So over the course of about probably two or three months, I started working on this design and um, I'm still I'm in an ring but I decided on the name Deep Sleeper. And I'm sure that'll make sense. I'm not going to explain it. Um, eventually, though, I did get it designed. Now, let's just change my camera settings. We'll have a closer look at this. All righty. So what we have here are, upside down, uh, the boards are designed. I did these in KiCad. Zoe told me I should be using KiCad. I'm not using LTM yet, but um, I've been learning more about PCB design since my old days. And KiCad is pretty good. If you want to know more, check out... Um, Sean Heimel on the DigiKey page. Otherwise, if you just want to learn about um, PCB design, then check out Phil's lab. He does a lot with LTM, but he's excellent. This is what I worked on though. It's a huge improvement over my previous PCBs. I've actually had it done pretty thin. It's only uh, two layers, that's all I needed, but it's based around the AT Tiny 414. I'm gonna have to flip the orientation of that, aren't I? Uh, and essentially what you've got here is you've got an input and an output. And you know what, Let's move on. PCBWay assembled, I, well, I got them assembled by PCBWay for me. I didn't get the 414s put on or the USB ports uh, because I wanted to mess around with them separately, but they're really easy to assemble at this point. It's just those SMD components. As you can see though, I did screw up. So there is no status LED on there. The reason for that is uh, 0605 exists in both metric and imperial and I got it backwards. So the LEDs order didn't fit, but otherwise the idea of this board is that you have an input here, five volts up to three amps. You have an output here and you've got your I2C. So I've got some um, UPDI pins on here for programming it and testing it out. Um, but it's just passing power through and it's actually passing data too. You can see those two data pins are passed straight through on the back. Uh, three amps is negotiated by these resistors. So there's plenty of current because I need the power for this regardless of what this negotiates. So this theoretically has up to three amps out. And if I get it right, it'll be on by default. You do have um, SPI as well, but I think I'm gonna stick to just I squared C or I2C. And all that it does really, the idea is you plug in your device like a Raspberry Pi or whatever you're using, and then you connect your two header pins, your I squared C pins to it as well using GPOs. And it can tell this, hey, turn me off in 10 seconds for 24 hours. This will then cut the power using this MOSFET there. That's a uh, in-channel MOSFET, cuts the ground. And it will wait that 24 hours very accurately using the 32 kilohertz clock uh, crystal that I've added, and then it'll restore power. So the concept of this deep sleeper is that you can use it to turn any MCU, SBC, dev board, whatever, into very low power using a protocol it already has. Now this is obviously version 0.1. I've already come up with a pile of changes I wanna make like thicker PCB, because that's gonna be problematic. I do need to program it now, and I've done myself dirty by having a resistor on PA0 for something else. So I'm going to have to have a bit of a play around with this, and I'll probably do that original code in Arduino um, using the Mega Core library, but I might write it in C. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what the power consumption is like. I want this to be super low power, of course, but that is Deep Sleeper, and I'd love your input and feedback. This should work with pretty much every other uh, USB-C or USB powered device I tinker with. It'll be great in the garden. It'll be great for remote stations, uh, anything, you know, on farms, big properties, anything you want to do that you want to keep the power con 
uh, requirements low. So I love your input. Thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this project. Uh, there'll be a link to the new website below. There'll be no content on there yet, but I plan on building it out when I get a chance. And uh, if any of the solder looks piss poor, just ignore that. I'm not done with it yet. Cheers, folks. Take it easy. Catch you next time.